Sairam children, we are going to discuss lesson number 11, weight, volume and density. Children, we have already discussed this lesson. So, today we are going to revise the behind exercise or textual exercise of lesson number 11. Let us see the questions. The first question is choose the correct options. The first one, if an object has a weight of 10 kg and a volume of 5 liters, what is its density? Children, we know the formula for density is density is equal to weight upon volume. So, and the options here are 5 kg per liter, 10 kg per liter, 2 kg per liter and 0 0.5 kg per liter. So, what should be the answer children? Yes, the answer is C, 2 kg per liter. Now, the next question is an object has a density of 8 kg per liter. It will. The options are float in water, first sink and then float, sink in water, first float and then sink. So what according to you should be the answer children? Yes, the object will sink in water because the density of the object is more than the density of water. And the object which are more denser than water, they sink in water. And the object which are having less density, uh, density than water, they float in water. And what is the density of water? The density of water is 1 kg per litre. The next question is, what is the force that makes wood immersed in water come up? Now children, we know that whenever an object is immersed in water, either partially or fully, a force acts on that object in upward direction. That's why the object feel lighter and they come up in the water. So, which among these forces is responsible for that? The options are muscular force, frictional force, buy-in force or gravitational force. Now children, before I tell you the answer, you should be ready with your answers. So, the answer is Yes, the answer is C, bio and force. The next question is, if an object floats in water, the options are, it is less denser than water. It is denser than water. It displaces more water than an object that sinks. It is heavier than, <coughs> excuse me, it is heavier than water. So, what is the answer? If an object floats in water, the answer is A, it is less denser than water. Now the next one children, when you put a brick in water, what happens to the level of water? The options are it rises up, it first rises and then goes down, it remains the same, it goes down. So what happens children? When you put a brick in water, water rises up. Yes, the level of water increases. Now, in water, an object, the options are weighs more than it does in air, weighs less than it does in air, is weightless, always sinks. So, in the chapter, we have discussed that whenever an object is in water, then it weighs less than it does in the air. For this, we have also performed an experiment. Now the next question is, an object weighs 12 kg in air and displaces 3 kg of water when immersed in water. Its apparent weight in water is. Now we know that apparent weight is equal to weight in air minus weight of water displaced. So here what should be the answer children? Yes, the answer is D, 9. Now here is the next question. Here you have to match the column. Now the first one is density tells us. So density tells us you have to match it with the column on the right hand side. Density tells us the answer is C. How closely the molecules are packed in a substance. The next one is an object weighs. The answer is E, less in water. 
The next is an object sinks if, if its weight is. Now the options are greater than the upthrust acting on it has higher upthrust than weight is the weight of water displaced. So what is the answer here? An object sinks if, if its weight is greater than the upthrust acting on it. So it is D. Now a ship in water the options which are remaining are has higher upthrust than weight is the weight of water displaced. So what is the correct one? A ship in water has higher upthrust than weight. The last one is apparent loss in weight of an object in water and the answer is is the weight of water displaced. So the answers are here. First answer is C. Second is E. Third is D. Fourth A. And fifth one is B. Now moving on to the next question children. The next question is fill in the blanks. The first one is different materials have different volumes for the same. The options are density and weight. So what is the correct answer here? Different materials have different volumes for same weight, right? The answer is weight. Now next question, next one is equal dash of different materials have different weights. The options are volume and density. So the answer is yes, the answer is volume. Equal volume of different materials have different weights. Now weight divided by volume gives the dash of substance. So weight divided by volume is what? Yes the answer is density. We have discussed that density is equal to weight upon volume. The formula for density is weight upon volume. Density is the weight of unit volume of a substance. Now the next one is, the next one is, the density of water is dash kg per liter. The options are 1 and 4. So, what is the answer children? Yes, the density of water is 1 kg per liter. It means that water is having equal weight for uh, kg and liter that is 1 liter of water is equal to 1 kg. So the density of water is 1 kg per liter and we have discussed about density is that the objects that are less denser than water like cotton wool, wax, wood etc. They float in water and the objects like metals which have which are more denser than water they sink in water. Now the next one is the weight of an object in water is equal to its weight in air minus and the options are water and upthrust. So what is the answer? Yes, the answer is upthrust. The weight of an object in water is equal to its weight in air minus upthrust. So in this chapter children you have to learn properly about density volume and or Archimedes principle also. So today we have discussed the behind exercise or textual exercise of lesson number 11 weight, volume and density. I hope all of you understood this uh, what we have discussed and all of you have noted down the answers. So we are going to end this session here children. Sairam.